All right, all right, welcome back to Eyes of Media. Very quick video. Um, I want to just let everybody know that's in the dinar community and everybody that's in this global currency reset stuff and everything that, that you know, all the all these investment stuff. If you do not know or you don't want to study or you don't want to, you don't know anything about your investment or you don't care, then you're most likely part of the problem, right? If you don't know what's going on with the things that you invest in and you don't care, then why in the world? Just think about this because it doesn't happen anywhere else except for in the dinar community. Unless you're doing a lottery and things like that, but that doesn't sustain a wealthy person. If you're if you're looking for success, long term success, and if you're looking for long term wealth, then you need to know what you're investing in. Right? Because if not, then you're just looking for short term gratification and then and then but but your mindset isn't and your life isn't wealthy and you're just rich right now and then you're gonna go right back to being poor because that's what your mind knows and that's what your life knows. And that doesn't help you or your family members out. Matter of fact, it's devastating, it's a trauma. But the fact that we got a lot of people that don't know anything about the their investments. And yet they're investing in countries. They're investing in in, in, in companies. They don't know anything about it. They don't know what's going on. And they ex and, and we expect millions of dollars to to come into our hands from exchanging or for, through investments on with, with companies and countries we have no clue about. It life doesn't work that way, folks. So, so when you're screaming, why doesn't the dinar revalue? But you don't know nothing about Iraq. You don't know nothing about the government. You don't know nothing about the CBI. You don't even know what the CBI is, and yet you're screaming. Where's my RV? You're part of the problem because if, if the more people that have the dinar that know nothing about it the more the universe is not going to do, work on your favor. Because you have to know the information of where of what you're putting your money in, right? You can't blindly go through life investing in things and not knowing what the thing is, right? How many of you all know about Iraq elections today, and 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 the winners and the losers and and uh, and uh, and the people. Maybe one percent of you are, but you but ninety percent of you are hold dinars, and you don't know the information about the country you're invested in. Only the dinar community does that. I don't know any other place in the world that puts money, their hard-earned money into something and they know nothing about the country, even though there's videos every single day to keep you updated. There's articles, there's videos to keep you updated on the, the country. You choose to say, nah, I don't, I don't really care about the country. But then you said, well, I don't care about the country, but I expect millions upon millions of dollars to be my return and my investment. And the universe is just laughing at you because that's not how we, that's not how things work. <laughs> you know, that's, that, that's a lottery mindset. Yeah, you might get lucky here and there. Then you will get lucky here and there. I've done it as well. I've gotten lucky here and there. And uh, does it last? No, that money gets blown. That money gets blown away because that's not the right way to make money. Right? That money usually gets blown. You don't even think about it. You make seven hundred here. You make a thousand here. You make seven thousand there. Eight thousand there. And you don't know nothing about the company. You don't know nothing about the uh, the infrastructure. You don't know nothing about the country. And that you make quick money on it, and then the money's blown. 
the money, the universe, usually the universe will take that money from you in some type of way. It'll be a, it'll be a car uh, issue or a house issue or apartment <laughs> issue, and that money will be right gone. The, the fastest you got that money, the fastest, faster you, it comes out of you, right out of your hands, right? And so we got to understand that it, the, the universe doesn't work that way. We must understand and know the investments that we're in. We can't be out here gambling and going through a, a, uh, a um, you know, a get rich quick scheme or some type of get lucky lottery ticket mine. We need to know or we're, or we're part of the problem. All right. We're part of the problem. We're stopping our own blessings because we don't know our we don't even know our blessings. We don't even know our investments. Right. Some of you guys have been in these investments for five years, you don't even know who the prime minister, you don't even know the name of the prime minister of some of these countries. But yeah, you ex you're expecting uh, $10 million in returns. Where do they, where do they do that at in, in the, in the entire world, except for the Dinar community? And literally when you tell the Dinar community this stuff, they get mad as if the rest of the world is operating this way. <laughs> but as this is the norm, right? Like, oh man, I just put fifty thousand dollars into the in, in into Iraq. Yeah, who's the prime minister? I don't know, man. I don't care about all that stuff, man. I don't care about Iraq, man. Yeah, I you know, I don't care about that, man. Just I'm waiting. Give me the revaluation, man. It don't work that way, folks. That's a get rich quick scheme mindset. That's a lottery ticket mindset. That's a gambling mindset, folks. It don't work that way. This is why these things are taking forever because the wrong people and the wrong mindset is in this investment. And until we change, we're not gonna see the outcome that we're looking for, point blank. And so it's a hard reality. No, it's not a hard reality to, 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 to think about. It's common sense. You need to know what you're investing in. And you need to keep update with your investments and understand what's going on. It's the same thing when you invest in cryptos. You better under, better know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then you need to uh, use play with paper money, fake money, and, and, and learn how to trade or learn how to move cryptos in and out with, with fake money or, or just small money you can afford to lose, like 5 to $10. And, and figure it out and, and learn that way. So if you lose the money because you made a mistake on the ledger or you made a mistake transferring stuff or swapping, you only lost five to ten dollars and you're fine. You're, you're it's a training, right? And then understand what you're investing in. Understand the blockchain. Understand the companies. Understand what's going on. You know. This is, we're part of the problem, where we are the problem. <laughs> we are part of the problem. We get into these things, these investments, and we know nothing. That's gambling, folks. We're gambling, that's gambling. So we gotta repent for that. We gotta repent for gambling. A lot of you guys don't even know nothing that's going on in Iraq right now. <laughs> Absolutely not, nothing. But yet you expect millions of dollars from that country to come your way. How How is that supposed to work? <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's crazy, in my opinion. That's ludicrous. That, that's literacy. That's ludicrous. To not know about a, about a company or a country and expecting millions upon millions of dollars in return investment? Wow. That's crazy. That's almost that's almost as that's almost as bad as as the as these modern women out here that 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 are that rate themselves as fours, but they're but they're over there expecting a high value man. <laughs> you over here is a single mother with a four. Overweight, but you expect and demand a high value man. That's almost as worse as that, you know. So, I mean, this is crazy out here. We are part of the problem. And until we fix it, these, these currencies are just going to sit there and sit there until we fix these problems. We are part of the problem. So when you keep saying, where's the RV? You're part of the problem because you don't even know anything about the country. You're talking about some RV. <laughs> you, you wouldn't even pass a basic Iraq test. And you, but yeah, you're screaming for millions of dollars. How is it? Is that, is that normal? No, it's not. 
Don't even think it's normal because it's not. Sometimes somebody's like, yeah, that's normal. And, uh, that's only normal in the Denar community. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. People, pe people's, people do not just blindly throw investment money and life savings into things and literally say, I don't need to know anything about it. I, I just expect 50 million back in returns. It just doesn't happen that way, folks. So if you don't know about your own investments and you don't care, well, guess what? The universe doesn't care either. And you'll wait and you'll the universe will allow you to sit and wait and wait and wait until you say, oh, I guess I guess it's never going to happen. I guess I should pull out my money now. Good, because that's what the universe wants you to do. And that's what God wants you to do. Get out, right? And, and God wants the people that are actually serious about I, about Iraq or about the, their, the the actual investments that He has told us to be in. He wants us serious about it. Some people don't even know where to buy silver and gold, and we're in 2021. Like it's crazy, right? And so God wants the God wants the people with the right mindset and the people that actually care to be in this investment and to be in these investments. If you don't care about Iraq, why you're in the why you're in it? Because that sounds like a greedy bastard, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If you don't know nothing about Iraq, why are you in Iraq? Why are you in these other countries if you don't know nothing about them? That sounds like greed, right? So, anyways, I'm just we're 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 all we're all part of the problem. We're all part of the problem. The reason why these things are not happening is because so many people are 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 literally putting money and saying, "I'm going to do nothing." But hold this currency and you country, you need to give me back 50 million dollars. And I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to study. I don't know. I don't care what you are about. I don't care what your people are like. I don't care what your food. I don't care what your heritage is. I don't, I don't care. I'm just, I'm here to make money off of you. That's almost as bad as the corrupt politicians in their country, right? So, I mean, it, it's just great. We are part of the problem, folks. We need to repent for that. Heavenly Father, we pray right now that we repent for every sin that we have committed and done, and we repent for, for being part of the problem. We repent for, for you know, just buying the NARS and sitting on them and saying, I don't care about the country. I don't care about the people. Give me my RV. I mean, it's sickening to think about it, you know, to think about what we have done to this country and the way we we are acting as if we are some uh, kings and queens and on the throne and, and, and they're peasants to us. It's sad that we just, just buy up their currency and then, and then tell them and say, give me an RV. It's unbelievable how sickening it is, Father. And I was just thinking about that today and how rude, how rude we are, how rude we are, how heartless we are to these people that are suffering and, and they, they need uh, they need you father to wake them up and, and to, to, to know that they are in dire needs. They don't need people like us like, buying their currency and then telling them get get it together and, and revise why I can become a millionaire. It's sickening father what has happened to the dinar community and to happen to us. And we repent right now in Yeshua's name. We repent for idolizing these investments that we know nothing about, but demand millions of dollars from them. We repent for that, Father. We repent for that right now in Yeshua's mighty name. Wash us clean from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. We repent for every sin, everything that we have done wrong. We repent for it now. Remove the hatred in our heart. Remove the, uh, the 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 stupidity in our hearts. Remove all of the selfishness and the greed in our hearts. In Yeshua's mighty name, we do not love money. We love Yeshua. In Yeshua's mighty name, we don't love money. We love Yeshua. We don't love money. We love Yeshua. In Yeshua's mighty name, we pray. Shalom, shalom. Father, fix us. Fix us, fix us, fix us in Yeshua's mighty name. From the inside out to the outside, to the outside in, fix us, Father. From the top of our heads to the bottom of our, our feet, fix us. And we are no longer part of the problem. We are going to know our investments. We are going to know, we are going to know our investments. The investments you lead us to, Father, we are going to study them and we are going to know them. 
and we're not just going to buy things and not study and not know and wish upon a star that they just make us millionaires because it doesn't work like that. And even if we get lucky from time to time doing that, it doesn't change our mindsets. It doesn't change who we are. We will go back to uh, we, we will go back to where we came from. It will it, the money will not last because we have not changed. And people do and people cannot get it together on that. They uh, they don't understand that. It, it doesn't matter if you get a million dollars. You will go back to your beginning uh, of poverty because your mind and your life is still the same. It doesn't matter how much money you get. The more money you get, the more damage you're going to do to your psychic and the more trauma you're going to do to your family and friends and the more trauma you're going to do to yourself and the more debt you're going to probably owe. Because you don't know what you're doing, you still have the same mindset, and 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 you and, you, and you're trying to, uh, you know, you got a get rich quick scheme, or you got a you got lucky in a lottery or whatever or, or whatever, and you don't know what you're doing, and so you go, so eighty million dollars, a hundred million dollars, a billion dollars will be blown and wasted because you still have the same mindset, so you will return to sender. We must change our mindsets. We must change our attitudes. We must change the way we look at our investments and look at things. And we must do it for the goodness of our hearts and for the people and for the country and for the investments and for the, and, and for the, um, for the teams of the investments. You know? Can't be the can't be one sided selfish man. I'm I'm a I'm gonna scoop this up and I'm gonna sit back and I don't care what 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 they're doing. I don't care if they're on the blockchain or not. I don't care. I don't care what they've done. I don't care. I don't care about their white paper. I don't care about this and that. I don't care about their team. I'm just gonna buy it and I'm just gonna hold it and I'm gonna make money off it and I'm gonna say screw them, screw everybody. We we can't be doing stuff like that. That's to what world that that's worldly people don't even do stuff like most of the time don't even do something like that. Like that. They actually uh you know check out the, the check out the the stocks, check out the cryptos, check out the the country, and they do their due diligence, man. Only the non community is doing this is doing this in, in most part. So we gotta wake up, man. We gotta wake up and understand that that we gotta understand what we're investing in. I mean that's just common sense. That's investment 101. Understand what you're investment, investing in. But I guarantee you right now, if I asked you basic questions about Iraq, you would not even know what they are. But yeah, you. But then if I ask you, do you expect 10, 10 to 15, 30 million dollars from this country, from an RV? You'd be like, yes, I do. That's crazy. <laughs> right? That's crazy. You don't know nothing about the country, but you expect 30 million dollars in return investments. Where do they do that at? Who who raised us this way? You know, so we need to change. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, change us now in Yeshua's name we pray. Shalom. All right, guys and girls, we are part of the problem. And uh, hopefully that, that we uh, we broke that today. And we're no longer part of the problem. We are part of the solution now. And uh, and we are gonna we are going to actually know our investments. <laughs> You know, we're gonna take a little bit of time to say, hey, I might want to study this investment a little bit because it it could make me a millionaire. I might want to study a little bit, you know, just like I study my nine to five job that pays me forty thousand a year. I might want to study my investments that are going to make me generational wealth. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. Peace out. God bless. Talk to you guys later.